There's no shame for it once you realize and then you don't do it again. And that's good. You're not seeking for forgiveness. You're seeking for correcting what you don't think you should be involved in, you should be doing. So, when you say that I'm ashamed of it, this and that, so forth, again, you're hoping somebody will say, oh no, don't worry about it. So, no, you don't, you're not looking for that. You're looking for actually internally to say, I know what I've done, I know what is wrong, and I know that I shouldn't use others, and therefore, I won't do it again. And I'm aware of it. And I won't pretend that what I'm doing is for the good of that person or for the good of the community or, uh, you know, because you know, you've got to focus on what you're gaining out of it. If you're doing it and you know what you're doing is to gain something out of it, then you know it's not for the good of whatever, uh, you know, you're antagonizing something else, somebody else for it. All right. Emmanuel says, Mehran, remember that good remember that good perfumes come in small bottles. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> yeah, we are a good content, but we hope that uh, we will um, have a lineup for the content, you know? <laughs> we like to be a good bakery uh, that makes, bakes good bread, but also people know about it. We don't want to be baking our bread in secret and just I have the best bread, but I don't want anybody to know about it. No. <laughs> Stephen says, Hi, thank you for your videos. My pleasure. I wanted to ask you about being friend with your ex. With my ex? No, sorry. You can't be friend with my ex. <laughs> you, mean, you mean you want to ask, ask me about being friend with your ex? <laughs> Okay, I know what you think. <laughs> I was married for 16 years when she left for another man. Ow. It hurts like hell. Oh, sure it does. Now, six months later, she wants to be friends and she calls and takes me for support and advice. What are your thoughts on it? Do you have children? Oh, here it is. Also, we have kids. So we are always connected that way. Oh, well. That is the path that eventually you will be on. You will be okay with her. You will help her. You will be kind to her because you're a kind person. Not that because you have to, but because that's the way to be civilized. That's the way to help things grow and develop. Okay, she was with you for 16 years, and for right or wrong reason, she was not thinking right or thinking right. She was stupid or wise. I don't know, and I don't care really. You shouldn't care either. Either uh, She's gone to somebody else. Uh, you can be damn sure that was her shortcomings, not you. Because after 16 years, somebody does that. That means definitely she hasn't been able to find what she's looking for in herself and she's trying to blame it on you or life or responsibilities and think that the grass is greener on the other side it's not unless she's changed herself in a way to help herself to be happy anyhow i don't know the details and i don't think we need to go into that but what i do want to tell you is that okay she's gone to somebody else okay fine and you're pissed off and i understand that and you have all the rights to be Everybody would be pissed off at that. But what I'm trying to tell you is that you will get over this being pissing off thing. Because you will find a place to put your love in. And you will realize that her action was no testimony of your shortcomings. Or has by any means diminished you. It has inconvenienced you. And it has taken the order that you had for your life. And the vision that you had for your life to be so-called quote-unquote perfect is changed that and that pisses you off but you will find where to put your love and that's into your children into your kids be the best father you can be don't be an uh, you know a, a, a joker father like be normal natural father not just because you have to now 
uh, uh, um, just constantly give in to what the kids want to do in order to score points with them versus the mother. Don't turn it into competition. Talk to kids uh, with love and talk good about their mother uh, in front of them when the conversation comes up. Uh, and if they're pissed off at the mother, don't use that in order to score point with them. Just say, I understand that you're upset, but look at it. Is it your responsibility to do your homeworks? Or are you thinking that uh, you can not do it and your mom should not be cross with you either? I mean, that's not mom's fault, really. It's also something that is good for you. You should do your things and your responsibilities. You know, don't take advantage of if they would feel upset. Because, first of all, it... It, it, it loosens the roots of your family and the discipline that could and must exist uh, in the family for your children's upbringing, especially in this bullshit societies that we're living in with all kinds of uh, deviations and problems and, and, and shortcomings. Um, so you don't want to create uh, a further division than she has created uh, with this action of divorce or whatever it is that some people feel necessary for them to do as if uh, they've got uh, their, their cow shits gold in the other field and that's what they're going there it's the same responsibilities and duties and same story instead of fixing this up they just fly the coop some people do that men or women but after having children if you, have, you don't have children okay but after having children you you should it's not a fucking game you know stop this jumping around here and there but you know some people do that and let's face it so now that it's been done you still want to make sure you focus on the children's well-being which means keep that love and discipline directed on them expectations of natural parents expectation for the good of the children should be there taking care of them to the hilts must be there and helping them with their education and their safety and protection and fun and uh, nutrition and everything else that you i'm sure you know about should be there but if you guys have anything serious to talk about talk about it in private not in front of the children you don't want to use that to credit or discredit each other so you score points so the children will say oh yeah mommy you did the right thing or no dad mommy is shit and she, she shouldn't have done this they say that in themselves by themselves on their own anyhow you don't need to encourage either one of you encourage it and i suggest to you the two links that i put here go watch them these are exactly for you and now these are for you at this time of your life the two links that i put up here that when uh, uh, I think Emmanuel asked for it. Uh, I found it. I did there about uh, how to interact with your spouse um, after divorce and how to interact with each other in front of the children. And so those are old, old videos I did. First two, uh, you know, uh, and uh, but they're still meaningful and it could be helpful because that was actually what I based it on uh, how I think it should be the interaction with uh, your wife after divorce and interaction with your with each other uh, in front of the children after divorce you know husband and wife both of them so that would be something perhaps uh, you you will enjoy uh, Stephen and uh, so since you will be okay with that eventually then try to expedite that a little bit you'll be pissed off you'll be you know upset and that's fine but don't take that on her what she has done is based off her own conditioning of her consciousness she did not want to hurt you she couldn't she couldn't find happiness in her own in her side on her own inside her and she thought it exists out there so she's done that for something material or otherwise that she was seeking for or some attention that she thought she's not getting now, all these she may eventually find that was a mistake or may not either way it doesn't matter what matters is that you don't lose yourself 
You be the man you are. You understand, okay, she's gone, that's okay. But you're not a monster. You will help her. You will support her. But don't make any overtures of uh, any sexual 